Kiss Crops. This is an interesting special order request. It tasks you with finding and growing 500 of these key crops within 30 days. You'll be rewarded with 100 key gems. So yeah, it is probably worth it. 100 key gems will definitely be useful. Initially, I thought that this is going to be a very difficult special order request, but after actually doing it, I can confirm that it's not that bad. When the update just got released, you were tasked with getting 1,000 key crops. But it got nerfed quite quickly after. I still think getting 1000 of them shouldn't be too difficult. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, let's get started. Step 1 on beating this challenge is uh, accepting the quest at the right time. Unfortunately, I accepted this quest around the middle of a season, meaning I only had 17 days to actually complete it. If you check the special order boards often enough, you can accept this quest the full 30 days. But I still managed to get enough crops well within the 17 days. Step 2 is to go get your seed makers. If you are like me, you probably have at least 10 seed makers just laying somewhere around on your farm. They are incredibly important to completing this quest. You probably can't do this quest without the seed maker. If you don't have many, they are quite cheap to craft. They only cost 25 wood, 1 gold bar and 10 coal. I made 10 of them in my first year and I never needed to make even more. Next you're going to need some deluxe speed grow. Trust me, using deluxe speed grow makes a huge difference here. You can buy deluxe speed grow at Pierre's store for 150 gold each. I just bought a bunch straight up because I had the gold and you can always find a use for the stuff. Next you will need to change your profession. To do this you can go into the sewer and interact with this dog statue. Then choose to reset your farming skill. This will cost you 10,000 gold but this will make it much more much easier to complete this challenge. When you sleep, you will get to choose your professions for the chosen skill again. For level 5 farming, pick tiller. For the level 10 farming, pick the agriculturist. This will make crops grow 10% faster. And if you pair that with deluxe speed grow, your crops will grow so fast that this challenge becomes really easy. When you are done with this challenge, don't forget to change your farming profession back to what you had it as. Especially if you are making tons of gold on one before we start growing key crops, we still need to find some seeds. Having seed makers and deluxe speed grow is great and all, but pretty useless without any seeds. To find your first set of seeds, you basically just need to do stuff around on Ginger Island. On the first day of this challenge, I didn't manage to find that many seeds. But I found some seeds from chopping down trees and I found some at the dig site with mega bombs. Then I entered the volcano with some bombs and that is definitely where I found most of my seeds. I should have gone straight to the volcano because this seems like the best place to find your initial seeds. I came back to the volcano on the second day and found 16 key crop seeds. That is quite impressive and it really helped me get this challenge started. Unfortunately, you cannot speed run through the volcano. You'll have to slowly defeat every enemy and hit most of the rocks and ores. Because the drop rate of these seeds is so low, I spent the entire day in the volcano absolutely clearing every inch of it just for 16 seeds. But it's definitely worth it because once we get started, we will be increasing the amount of crops we can have exponentially every two days. It was quite fun running around the volcano, blowing everything up in search for these seeds. Don't forget, you can also get seeds from defeating enemies and opening chests. So you really do have to be thorough when looking for these seeds. This is why we purchased Deluxe Speed Grow and changed our profession. Usually these key crops will take 4 days to fully mature and be ready to harvest. But since we are so fully prepared, it only takes 2 days. So every 2 days, all of your key crops will be ready for harvesting and ready for duplication. The seed maker has a chance to give you 1, 2 and even 3 seeds. But according to the wiki, it has a 97% chance of giving you 2 seeds. So every key crop placed in the seed maker, you should be getting two seeds back, meaning we can technically double the amount of crops we can grow every two days. Since this is exponential growth, after just a few days, we can have hundreds of key crops. And after a few more days, we can have thousands of key crops. And as long as we have space to actually plant the crops, we will continue to grow the number of crops we have by a ton every two days. 
My first harvest of key crops got me 24 key crops. After running all of them through the seed maker, I managed to get 49 seeds. We successfully doubled the amount of crops we had already. I recently planted a ton of ancient fruit here and it's very painful to remove them for the key crops, but it had to be done. Two days later, I harvested 63 key fruits and after dropping all of them in a seed maker, I had doubled the amount of seeds again. Meaning, I had to completely demolish half of my ginger island farm for space for these key crops. Another two days later, and I started to get hundreds of key fruits. And this is where you start to see the numbers start to get crazy. Just look at how many crops I have planted in just a few days. And this is why I think this challenge wasn't too difficult when the requirements was to produce 1000 crops. If you had enough sprinklers, farming space, and seed makers, you could easily produce thousands of these crops with ease. I never went back into the volcano to try and find seeds because I was producing way too many here. I think I only grinded in the volcano until I found about 40 of them and that was more than enough. When I knew I had enough crops planted, I stopped making seeds because I just didn't want to keep growing these things forever. But you can keep growing them for when you get this quest again in the future if you want it. And this is the last day. I managed to get 569 key fruit. I still had time left, so I could have turned all of these crops into 1000 crops if I wanted to. But I was getting a little bit impatient. When you do have enough crops, simply drop them in your shipping bin, sweep, and then you will wake up with the quest being completed and an extra 100 key gems just ready for you to spend. Unfortunately, key fruit only sell for 1 gold each, so all of our effort didn't make us any money whatsoever, and it didn't even pay for the deluxe speed grow, but it is what it is. So just a quick recap, get seed makers, use the luck speed grow, use the agricultural profession and you are good to go. You shouldn't struggle too much with this quest, so don't be afraid of it when you see it on the special order board. It might sound daunting, but it's quite doable. Don't forget to change your profession back to what you prefer after you have completed this challenge. The artisan profession is way too good to accidentally forget about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and why not subscribe too? I try to release a new video every day. Some are informative and some are just for fun. And as always, I will see you in the next video.